Hey everyone, John here from testpreppinsight.com and today I'm going to be breaking down and reviewing the Manhattan Prep GMAT course. I'm going to cover everything I like about this course as well as the things that I don't. That way you have a balanced, honest view of the Manhattan Prep materials. And just so you know, myself and the rest of the team here have actually purchased this Manhattan GMAT course and really put it to the test. Reviewing and rating out all of its features like video lessons, practice questions, mock exams, and everything else. So I think if you keep an open mind, this video should give you everything you need to make an educated purchase decision. So if you're ready, let's get to it. Okay, a quick outline for this video. First, I'm gonna cover all the major pros and cons that I see with this Manhattan Prep course. Then I'm gonna circle back for a quick recap summary before finally ending with a verdict of whether I think Manhattan Prep is a good choice. And since I'll just be running through this pretty quickly today, if you find you need more detail at any point, there's a couple easy options for you. First, I'll drop a link down in the description below over to Manhattan's website where you can check out this course for yourself. And I'll also have a link down there over to our website where I have a full detailed written review of the Manhattan course. Or better yet, you can always just Google Test Prep Insight Manhattan Prep GMAT Review. That's an easy way to find it too. All right, so the first major strength of the Manhattan Prep course is their video lessons. They are just plain awesome. Honestly, in my opinion, the quality of Manhattan's online video instruction can't be matched in the GMAT space. They're interactive, adaptive, and just plain cool. The lessons start, stop, ask you questions, adapt to your knowledge on a subject, and are sprinkled with these funny little cartoons. And the production quality is top notch. The instructor usually appears on screen giving a quick verbal lesson on a topic while notes appear around them. Then it'll cut to a digital whiteboard that illustrates a point or concept before switching over to a built-in drill or module that tests your knowledge. It's a really effective format and between the sharp picture quality, interactive features, and on-point content, there's just a lot to like. And if you want to see some screenshots and recordings of these lessons, make sure to see the description down below. I've got a link over our website where we have a bunch more pics of these. Okay, so my second highlight of the Manhattan GMAT program is the overall structure of the course. I just talked about how I like the video lessons, but that's just one piece of the larger Manhattan study program. The entire curriculum is built around those video lessons, plus intermittent quizzes, assigned readings, and live classes, if you go that route. Compared to other test prep companies, I think Manhattan does a great job building up from the foundational concepts to the most complicated topics and teaching you through a number of different ways, which I think really helps with material retention. Bottom line is that I think the Manhattan curriculum is thorough, well-organized, and smart in its use of multiple teaching angles. Okay, so my third pro is the adaptive tech that Manhattan uses to personalize your study plan and help find easy score gains. Essentially, as part of their digital coursework, Manhattan runs an algorithm behind the scenes that identifies your strengths and weaknesses and adjusts your workload accordingly. There's just no sense in hammering practice problems and learning content that you've already mastered. There's nothing to be gained from it. Your better use of time is improving your weakest points and getting easy score gains. And Manhattan gets that. So as you progress through your assigned practice work and the interactive drills in your video lessons, Manhattan constantly tweaks your assignments to make sure your study plan is as efficient as possible. And I love this approach and tech. All right, so my fourth X factor that makes Manhattan's program stand out is their prep books. So in addition to their digital content, Manhattan provides students with six hard copy prep books. Now, while each book covers different material, together across all the books, you're gonna get coverage of every possible angle for attacking the GMAT. Substantive content review, test taking strategies, and practice. I found them to be thorough and well-written and think they are a significant value add, especially for those types of students that like having a physical, tangible study tool. Not every test prep company provides printed prep books and even at that, few offer this many. Okay, so my last and final strength to note for you today is Manhattan's roster of practice questions. For one, I like the number of questions they provide. In total, you get access to more than 4,000 problems, which is second only to Kaplan. But I also really like the quality of these practice questions. I found the problems to closely replicate real GMAT exam questions in terms of length, difficulty, and content. Now, the interface and delivery of their practice test questions is a different matter, and I'll touch on that in just a moment, but as far as the content of the problems go, I think you'd be hard pressed to find more realistic or high quality practice work. All right, now shifting gears over to the cons with this Manhattan Prep GMAT course. 
But before I get into that, if I could kindly ask you to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and drop us a quick comment below, that'd really be appreciated. We're the only company out here that does this much research and gives you this kind of analysis to make sure you're making the right test prep choices. So any support you can show us goes a long ways. Okay, back to the cons, and I have three of them. Let's start with the price tag. Frankly, I just think Manhattan Prep is a little expensive. Their full course with live classes is a couple hundred dollars more than major rivals Kaplan and Princeton Review, and close to a thousand dollars more than the popular budget courses like Magoosh. And even their more basic self-paced package, which they call their Interact package, is a couple hundred bucks more than other self-paced courses at around a thousand dollars. But with that said, I should also mention that Manhattan Prep does frequently run sales and special promotions, so make sure to check out the description below for discount codes. A lot of times you can find the Manhattan courses discounted by up to 10%, especially if you're still a student, so keep that in mind. I'll do my best to keep that text below the video screen updated with any codes or coupons that might be out there to help save you some money on this course and maybe take a little sting out of that price. Okay, so my second downside here, and that's that Manhattan's practice question explanations are a little unremarkable. So surrounding all of their practice work, Manhattan Prep utilizes a program called their GMAT Navigator to provide problem explanations and track your progress. This tool breaks down each problem and provides explanations of why answer choices are correct or incorrect. Now, while I generally found Manhattan Prep's insights to be helpful, the explanations were not quite as good as other companies. They're spot on in terms of substance, but just didn't seem as detailed or well articulated. And lastly, my final negative with this course is that I wish there were more practice exams. When it comes to GMAT prep, a lot of times the best way of prepping is just hammering simulated exams and reviewing your answers. And unfortunately, Manhattan is just kind of in the middle of the pack in this department. In total, Manhattan Prep provides access to six full-length practice exams, which is four less than Category Best Princeton Review and three less than Kaplan. Plus, I just found their testing interface to be a little peculiar. Rather than exactly simulating the GMAT software, they use their own program. I mean, it's close to the real thing and nothing is really different substantively, but it would just be nice to see them mock up an exact replica so you're not thrown off on test day. All right, so now that I've covered the key strengths and weaknesses of this course, let's do a quick recap for some perspective. And by the way, since you're studying for the GMAT, I should mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we give away a free prep course to one of our subscribers just as a way of saying thank you and to help them prep. If you want your chance to win a free prep course, there's just three simple things you need to do. I'll toss those up on the screen right here and I'll also have all the detail down below in the description. It's really easy. It'll take you less than 10 seconds and hey, you never know, you could win a free Manhattan Prep GMAT course. Okay, so starting with the pros, you've got number one, first rate interactive video lessons with built-in drills. Number two, a comprehensive and well-organized structure that helps with learning. Number three, a totally personalized study plan for each student. Number four, killer prep books with tons of detail and practice work. And lastly, number five, tons of high quality practice questions to drill on. Then on the flip side for cons, you've got number one, the fact that Manhattan Prep is a little on the pricey side compared to competitors, but again, make sure to check below for current discount codes. Number two, some underwhelming practice problem explanations. And number three, only six full length practice tests plus a kind of weird interface. And that about does it for this review. I think the big takeaway is that Manhattan Prep is an all around rock solid GMAT prep course that'll get the job done for most every student, especially for visual learners that do really well with engaging and interactive video lessons. I know I wouldn't hesitate to roll with Manhattan Prep if I was dialing back the clock to my old GMAT prep days. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful and you learned a little something. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping us a quick comment below. That'd really be appreciated. And if you want to learn more about the GMAT, or again, see that full detailed written review of this course that I talked about at the top of the video, make sure to jump over to our website, testprepinsight.com, where we have a ton of great content. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and we'll see you in the next one.